Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Rosie. And today we are going to make something small to decorate our walls. I have a leftover piece of MDF from an old project and we'll work on this today. As we all know, MDF is highly moisture absorbent and it's always recommendable to give it a primary protection before applying paint on it. For me, I'm using Mod Podge glue as a primer, but you can also replace this with a regular wood glue. And I'm not going to dilute this with water, I'll use it with its original thickness so that I don't have to repeat more layers. And most importantly guys, I'm not being consistent on this platform, my videos are becoming less and less nowadays and multitasking has just been horrible guys. And as I told you guys on my last video, I'm working on some things behind the camera and due to that I'm pausing my self care videos for a moment. I promise all will go back to the way it was or even more better soon, soon soon very soon, so please bear with me guys. And back to the main topic, as you saw me I gave it enough coat of much Podge glue and I left it overnight to dry and now it's in a good condition to be applied paint on. If you want to try this project it's always best to leave the base black rather than any other color so that the color of the strings will appear or pop out well. And now I'll make a borderline with few centimeters cap to guide me where I should hammer my nails. And these are the nails I'm using for this project. Uh, these are 1 inch nails and it should be enough for the string art. So simply follow the line you drew earlier to hammer your nails in order to get a perfect straight line. And here we are done with hammering. I shifted location for a better view so that you guys can see the whole process clearly. And I don't have the pen for making string art and I'll use my fingers to push the strings in between the nails. So what I'll do, I'll roll the end of the string on one nail and use a glue gun to secure. Alternatively, you can also use super glue so when you pull the strings towards the other end, it won't run open.
And finally, here we are, a leftover piece of wood turned into cute wall art. If you like the idea and want to try it out, please go ahead and share your experience on the comment section. And if you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing and turn on the notification bell. And next Thursday, I'll see you guys with another DIY video. Until then, keep safe. Bye-bye.